Hey, it's Lacey and welcome back to Satoshi Gaming. Today I'm taking you on a tour of my beach farm in spring year five with no mods. And this playthrough has over 250 hours put into it. It's currently the ninth day of spring and I decided to go with kind of a tropical vibe color scheme. So my house is turquoise and I have my stables right near my house for easy access to get on and off of my horse along with my shipping bin. If we come back to this little tucked in pathway, you'll find my phone and I kind of like that it's kind of nestled in there. I didn't do anything with the north exit. I kind of wanted to just keep it simple. So I just added a couple flowers and kept it like that. Come through here, my cave is fruit and uh, I don't really design my caves much. I don't go in there very often after the first year. So <laughs> um, I just kind of leave it as is. I made a little seating area out here by the water. So if you're looking to take in the scenery and just relax, you can be here at night or day and it's lit up really well. And I have a few tea plants out there as well. Coming back to my main entrance, if we go up towards this little gate, you have my bunny rabbit farm. And uh, I've done a little bit of a gold building style for this area. I haven't checked on my rabbits in a while. Clearly they're a little upset. Down here I have some crops. I'm growing some flowers just because they're pretty. I'm using deluxe retaining soil on all my crops down on the sand so they stay watered. And uh, I have my dog's area right by that. Hey puppy, he's not mad at me, that's good. And then um, right here I have my honey farm. And um, I like this design just because it's a little bit of a maze to walk through, but you can collect all the honey by just holding down the key without the chance of grabbing any of your flowers. So I really like this. Um, normally I do mine in more of a grid pattern, but this one was kind of fun. I have my uh, portal to the farm right there with a little fruit tree kind of tucked in some grass. We head down here. I have my first barn and this one has my cows and my goats in it and I'm making cheese in my presses here and uh, they're just kind of mixed in. I also have a giant, some giant crops out here from earlier where I had my crops was out here in this area and I decided to move them at some point. So. This is my energy farm with all my solar panels. I don't have a lot of them because I don't have a big battery need at this point. This is my Junimo farm. They're collecting strawberries and everything there is automated. You can see some of them out there working. I have some tappers on some of the top trees and fruit trees down on the bottom row. Then I have some tea plants. If we come through here, this is where I'm keeping all my fish ponds and you can grab the item from all the fish ponds from this side. I also have a little flower farm just because it's pretty out front. Um, and then this is kind of like where I have all my fishing and um, crab pots and fish pond related items. So inside I'm working on all my row and then I have all the fish and coral and things that I've caught just kind of on display in here. So it's a, a cool place to just kind of hang out, chill in like a little aquarium. Uh, in Stardew Valley. I also use this to store all my fish related items. So I have my row, my crab pots, and then two boxes of fish. Um, their fish aren't really organized in any way, but I got my legendary fish on display out here behind my tulips. And I've only caught two so far. I have not focused on fishing at all in this playthrough. Fishing is my least favorite thing to do. I don't know if it is yours, but it is mine. So out here I have my pigs and I decided to turn my little island with my greenhouse into my pig farm and so I'm doing truffles out here. I got grandpa's shrine with all four candles lit and I would sure hope so by year five. <laughs> um, pigs are pretty happy. I got a lot of pigs so they eat through that grass pretty quick unfortunately. If we head back down to the main walk path, we can head here past my greenhouse which we'll get to later. Uh, this is my little tree tapper farm so i don't have a lot of trees because my needs for tree tap sap isn't high at this point so i decided to kind of keep it sparse this is my ostrich barn so all my ostriches hang out here in the middle of my map down by the water i have some uh, things to make mayonnaise with the egg machines here and then i have a pond hidden here behind the silos just because i didn't know where to stick it and i had it left over and well, that's where it ended up. <laughs> I also have a pond over here. So I have two that aren't in with all the other fish, but it is what it is. 
Down here I'm growing fiber and then I also have some extra strawberries going on uh, just because I think it's a great way to make some more money. I still haven't got my clock so I'm working towards that. This is my fruit tree farm and I also have my mill here. I thought it looked really pretty with the fruit trees and if we come in here I have my slime hutch which oh my goodness it's a little full. So I don't come in here very often either. I'm not a big slime tamer type of person so this is something I kind of neglect on a regular basis. So I just come in collect all the petrified slimes and sell them every so often and make some money and other than that I don't really worry about it. They're watered automatically with sprinklers. Uh, over there on the right side you can see so I don't really have to think much about this place and then I have my slime presses and my statue so the witch doesn't curse my slimes and turn them black. Coming outside I have some bait machines and recycling machines and my little area of crab pots that I use to collect my crab pot items and then quickly recycle and sort through them. My south exit I've kept overgrown and natural, kind of like the forest is all on its own, so it kind of leads you into that new environment. Heading back up past my fruit trees, I've kind of kept this beach just an area to grow grass for my animals. And then if we come down here, this is my duck and chicken coop. I have blue chickens, black chickens, white chickens, brown chickens, and ducks. <laughs> Leia's statue got a spot on my dock. I don't do much with this dock and I don't fish often as I said, so it's just a decorative spot. I have a lot of mayonnaise machines here ready for their eggs for my chickens and this is all for them to eat. And then this is my dinosaur coop. So only dinosaurs are in this one. They're a happy bunch. I have a shipping bin down here and then I have more egg machines for mayonnaise for the dinosaurs to make dino mayo. I left that gate open. And this is my mushroom farm down here where I have a tapper doing mushrooms and then they just grow so fast I can't keep up with them. This is my portal station so I have portals to all the other areas and so I can go to the beach, I can go to the mountains, I can go to the desert, and I can go to Ginger Island. The little tiny crop space you get on the beach farm is being used entirely for strawberries this year. Um, yeah, not much else going on there. Uh, these are my kegs. I use them to make ancient wine. And then I have my preserve jars, which I just toss in whatever fruit I happen to have on me, typically blueberries. Um, not really doing much with that but I do keep my ancient fruit here. It's not grown over here, it's grown in my greenhouse, but I just bring it out here and throw it in whenever I have it. I also got the strange capsule in this playthrough. Um, I think I got it during uh, winter year four. So I just got that recently and um, I just have it kind of out as decoration at this point. So the Junimos harvest most of my crops here. It doesn't quite reach to the very last row, so I have to do a little harvesting, but not much. I have all my seed makers there as well. Out here I'm growing some more tropical fruit trees that grow only in the summer. And then this is like my main storage area. So I have all my main storage needs here along with my Junimo box and my crafting table and a shipping bin. I do a lot of stuff here. I have the farm analyzer, my coffee, <laughs> and my teleport um, back to the, the farmhouse. Inside my shed I'm using it solely for gems and mining type of items. So I have a ton of furnaces over here on the left side where I can smelt all my ore. Then I have my ore, my tools, the various things and warps, and then all the artifacts I've found along with the bone crusher and just some things on display. Heading back through this little pathway, we can go into my greenhouse, which I'm using for some of my more profitable fruits along with my ancient fruit and I'm storing all my crops here. I got them organized by season, so spring, summer, fall, and the first one being fertilizers, and then I have fruit, vegetables, flowers, and forageables in the chests on the left. So everything's sorted really nicely, and it's easy to find what I need. 
So that is my farm tour of my beach in spring year five with over 250 hours of playtime. And I really hope you enjoyed the tour. If you'd like access to exclusive content and special perks, you can join my Patreon for as little as $1. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. Also hit that bell to turn notifications on so you don't miss my latest videos. You can also find me on Twitter at SatoshiGamingTV. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you again next time. Bye.